Here, what's a good job, ladies and gentlemen? Kings, Queens, how y'all doing? Y'all feeling today? We got Mazda L20, the full case of Malcolm Graham. The full gov is crazy. Now, this is recommended to us by Caden. Caden, appreciate you for the recommendation. Now, before we start, let me say I've had about 30 damn near requests for the day. I'm probably going to have over half of those done right now going up. Well, they'll probably be up before this. This, this is the last one I'm doing for tonight that I'm sitting down and recording for. I don't know which order they'll go in, but this is the last one. Now, let me say, if I've hearted your comments, please don't request any more. Because it just makes me forget which ones I got to do, which ones I haven't done, you know, that type of thing. So if I've hearted your comments, then I will get to yours. I just need the second. I need the, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie, it's about to be 11 p.m. Barely eaten. I got home. If I would have gotten home earlier, I would have did all of them. Which is crazy, because almost 30 requests is insane. And I appreciate y'all requests. But again, if y'all could do one request, you know, per like, one request, you... From you alone one I'd appreciate it because it, it just it just makes everything easier because I'm not gonna lie even this request I seen it by chance it was in the comment section and I didn't even get the notification because I have so many notifications on different videos for requests so it's like you know that type of shit is hard but I'm trying to get to everything and I want to get to everything so you know what I'm saying if y'all can work with me i'd appreciate it but anyways always appreciate y'all recommendations and requests but you know like we need some order because damn this is hard bro but anyways man let's get some more to it i'm sorry and enough enough of the yapping i just have to you know let's get some more to it i'm not gonna lie if i see any requests tonight i'm not doing them <laughs> if i see any requests tonight before morning, at least. I'm reasonable. Because I already have another, like, 10 to 15 lined up. So it's like, I have to do those, too. So if y'all add on to them, it's like, I'll never get through it. But okay, I deadass. Enough of y'all, but let's get smooth to this. The full case of Malcolm Graham. Mazza, L20. In 2016. This is brought to us by Unworlded. Wait. Unworld Unmasked? I believe. Link's in the description. No matter. Come on. In, Liverpool, in 2016, 2016, in Liverpool Crown Court, the court heard how police detectives found footage on Malcolm Graham's phone which showed him testing the Russian-made automatic handgun which was used to shoot dead Kevin Wilson. Kevin, who was 17, was shot in the back on the corner of Home Street, Wavertree on February the 7th of 2015 and was sadly passed away. Police have made several arrests RP. in an attempt to solve the murder, but the case remains ongoing. Graham's co-defendants included an 18-year-old man from Formby who was jailed for seven years and six months for firearms offences. A 22-year-old man was also jailed for three years for firearms offences and a fray. So far, there is no evidence to suggest that Graham or his co-defendants had anything to do with Kevin's murder. In August of 2016, footage played in court showed one of Graham's associates doing a line of Class A substance off of the barrel of a sawn-off shotgun and a video of Malcolm really? test firing the Russian-made handgun previously mentioned. In another clip shown in court, Malcolm was said to have been rapidly pulling back the barrel of the pistol to make bullet cases come out of the chamber. Judge David Aubrey, who gave him the sentence, described Graham as obsessed and fascinated with lethal weapons. The judge said, guns kill, guns maim, they terrorise and intimidate. In the court's judgement, they have a corrosive impact on the local community. The message must go out that those involved in firearms offences must receive punishments from the court. CCTV footage was also played which showed Graham attacking another inmate at Hindley Young Offenders Prison where he was serving a three-year sentence for the previous firearms matter. The court was also told how Malcolm had attacked one of his co-defendants, punching him in the face, causing him to lose teeth. Oh, Graham really, accused nigga. the man of being a little rat and saying, why have you been swerving me? Tarquin McCallum, who was representing Alan, told the defendants, punching him in the face, causing him to lose teeth. Graham accused the man of being a little rat and saying, why have you been swerving me? Tarquin McCallum, swerving who was me? representing Alan, said that his client was ashamed of that coward. Swerving like like ducking me or like does he mean snitching? 
I'm confused. I don't, I don't know if y'all use that as some type of lingo, but you know what I'm saying? Reamers. Said that his client was ashamed of that cowardly act and did not foresee the injuries that it would cause. Detective Inspector Richard Jones said, the sentencing of these offenders today sends out a strong message to those involved in gun crime. Merseyside Police is committed to taking those involved in gun crime off of the streets. Malcolm Graham and Lewis Clark were both linked by DNA photographs and a video to the self-loading pistol, which just three weeks before it had came into their position, was used to shoot and murder Kevin Wilson. Oh, wow. The judge said, these three thought that they were untouchable and were seen in photographs on phones owned by Graham and Clark with the weapons. Mercer was also videoed on the phone snorting cocaine off of a son of shotgun. Alongside the firearms offences, Malcolm Graham was sentenced to two Section 20 assaults. One was on a prison inmate and the other was an assault on Adam Mercer, who was actually his co-defendant and allegedly the man seen on video using the shotgun to consume a substance. Ordinarily, this is where the video kind of would end, but as we've all seen, there have been numerous music videos and freestyles amongst other content posted by Mazza showing his life behind bars and his musical we're talent seeing, seeing. and some would even say his artistry. His Daily Duppy, which is a play on the GRM freestyle platform Daily Duppy, has been credited as creative. It's clear that right oh, now so Mazza is making it. the best okay. of a bad situation. To go to jail for years on end is not an easy thing to thing, go through. But... And we've seen numerous people go through the system and put themselves in a good position to come out to a career in music. So hopefully he's on the same wavelength. These videos posted online of freestyles and music videos have led to Mazza gaining a massive following online, gaining tens of millions of views overall through YouTube and other social media combined. He's used this situation to showcase a clear musical talent, which has led him to collaborating with some of the UK's biggest names like Potter Paper and H, as well as many other prominent artists. The next few weeks, Mazza is due to be getting out of prison, but as most of us would have seen from his recent snippet online, he seems to be struggling with where his mind's at. Here's the clip I'm talking about. Uh, these are taking a piss, these, you know, in a good way. They just give me 80 days back, but they waited till I was banged up, the cunts. I see you all in a couple of weeks. All you little rats that were putting the blockers on me, watch. It's on site, on fucking site, though. Oh you my little rats. <laughs> but yo, everyone no, showed me love so as well. Funny. I've got you, man. Watch when I touch road in a couple of weeks and get in touch that road. studio. Next up, you can't tell me I'm lying. Hopefully people can talk some sense into him because he has a huge amount of potential. I only say it's funny. Already... Not in a disrespectful sense, but like, or a disrespectful way, but it's like, it's so like close to home. Like, the, how do I say, parallels between pretty much all the drill scenes, but you know what I'm saying? And then we have our little... Uh, I don't know how to say it, but like, you know what I'm saying? We have our little flavoring. I, I don't know how to say it, bro. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. But it's, that's, that's all I was saying. It was funny. But rumors, my bad. To him because he has a huge amount of potential and has already achieved accomplishments that have solidified him as an artist in the UK industry. To have built a fan base and started a music career from jail is literally the golden opportunity to leave the streets behind and start a new life. Hopefully, other artists and fans alike will happen to stay on the right track. Comment your thoughts and suggestions for future videos and also let me know if you could say anything to Mazza to help him turn his life around and stay on the right path, what would you say? Till next time. I wouldn't say shit because the words are pointless when the people in question, not referring to him, but like when the person you're trying to, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, send your little words through and, and try to get them to, you can't make anybody do anything respectfully you know what i'm saying now you can encourage you can enlighten you can you know what i'm saying but you can't at the end of the day you cannot make anybody do any damn thing so me personally i wouldn't say shit <laughs> you know but hey man good video on world is it underworld or is it un i think it's underworld underworld unmasked good video appreciate you know for the video um again Caden appreciate you for the recommendation um yeah man obviously Maz is out by now because we just seen the fire in the booth so you know ain't no ain't no free him but anyways man links in the description again too appreciate y'all for tuning in y'all take it easy good book 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 good book